buying second-hand cars might be difficult than you think. Sometimes your choices are closely contested, like what we have right now. We have a 2012 Honda City and a 2013 Honda City. There's a 50,000 peso difference, but does cheaper mean better? Or should we go for a more updated model? Let's find out. If you're not sure about the differences between each year model, then we strongly suggest that you do your homework. Punta kang website namin, Carmudi Philippines. But if you're already there, or in this case, already here, don't be afraid to take your time and check between cars. There wasn't really a lot of updates from the 2012 to the 2013 model. That said, we'll look at the condition of the car to find out which among them is the best one. Right here, we see faded headlamps as well as the wheels, especially here and on the rear, are also faded. Paint-wise, both cars have small scratches here and there, but nothing major. Now on the 2013 model, what I really saw was missing parts, like missing uh, window visors, and for some reason, the antenna here at the rear is also missing. When you check the tint at the back of the car, you'd notice that it's also faded. Another thing that we've noticed is that the window trim of the 2013 model is a lot more faded. And for OC car buyers, I mean, this is a minus point. So I guess when it comes to exterior, we'll call it a tie. Checking the cabin, we've found that most of the components, including the infotainment system, the dashboard, and other interior amenities are quite the same. Leave for the seats. The seats on the 2013 model is a stock leather, while this one has been installed by the owner. Actually, I love the quality of this upgrade because it's kind of soft and it has on the badging. Back in the 2013 model, we've noticed that the previous owner did some reupholstering of his own. As you can see, he's installed leather steering wheel wraps. I mean, it does look good, but for me, I might remove it anyways. Since these seats look good, I'm going to give the edge to the 2012 model in terms of interior. Plus, it smells good. Since we can't test drive these units, we'll go ahead and do the old startup so we can listen to the engine. All right, the engine seemed to start without any problems. So we'll just hop up and check the other model. Right, now we're on the 2013 model. Again, like what we did on the 2012 model, we'll do the old startup test. Well, checking the engine bay, there doesn't seem to be any problems. It's clean, which means there's no signs of leakage, and there's no corrosion, which means that it wasn't flooded. So I guess this is a good one. Okay. And now the engine bay, it's pretty much the same, virtually identical. There's no oil leaks, no corrosions where they shouldn't be. The ticking of the engine is also the same. Leave for some dried leaves. But, I mean, let's face it, a good listen can get you a long way. You always say to bring a mechanic. Pero pag bibili ka naman ng kotse, hindi mo naman bubuksan yung makina eh. So, like what I said, a good listen can go a long way. Let's be realistic customers. Ayinggan lang natin yung makina, let's start the engine, and let's do a test drive. And if it works, then it's good. These are Japanese cars, and they are known for their reliability. So I guess in this round, again, we'll call it a tie. So the final basis of this comparison is the odometer reading. On this 2012 model, the odometer reads 44,446 kilometers. So let's check what's on the 2013 model. And here, it reads 42,170 kilometers. I mean, is 2,000 kilometers worth 50,000 pesos more? Nah, I don't think so. In cars like these, like the Honda City, 2,000 kilometers doesn't really matter. So, I mean, I guess they're a tie. So which among these cars would be the better pick? For us, we lean towards the 2012 model, not because of the price, but because of the condition that we've checked earlier. The 2013 model has a few missing parts, as you've seen earlier. And the condition of the 2012's interior, for my taste, is a lot better. So that said, 
I'm giving the edge slightly to the 2012 model. What do you think? Would you prefer a car that's one year younger on paper? Or would you go for a 2012 model that's 50,000 pesos less? Hit us in the comments below. And again, this is Paolo Papa from Kermudi Philippines. We'll see you on the next episode.